Hi, welcome to our Two Minute Tuesday for December 2nd of 2014. Our title this week is Precision Cast Parts, Time to Weed. My name is Roger Balzer, Balzer Wealth Management. As many of you know, one of the main cornerstones of my research is relative strength. This robust method of analysis allows me to determine where outperformance exists while also allowing me to see what security sectors or asset classes are underperforming. I measure the results of my relative strength calculations in many different forms. From single relative strength charts that compare one security to another, to complex relative strength matrices that summarize the results of thousands of relative strength charts to rank an entire universe of securities or 401ks. I also apply the relative strength to create the comparisons that form the backbone of my asset class guidance tools. Of course, at the end of the day, the ultimate goal of using relative strength is to put you in a position to capture the large winning trades while helping you avoid the large losers. Precision Cast Parts offers a good example of how relative strength can steer you toward and keep you in a winner for a long time, yet can alert you to when it's time to move on to another stock once underperformance is evident. Precision Cast Parts is a member of the aerospace airline sector and for many years has been a solid performer both within its group as well as among its S&P peers. One way to visualize this is through a relative strength chart versus the S&P equal weighted index. That chart is shown here. Precision Cast Parts gave a relative strength buy signal versus the market way back in October of 2003. This signal remained intact for over a decade. It wasn't until just recently that PCP moved to a relative strength sell signal, suggesting it was now underperforming the market and is likely to do so going forward. What is noteworthy though, is that while on a relative strength buy signal, precision cast parts gained 1,020.3%. During that time frame, the S&P equal weighted index was only up a little over 152%. Now that is the definition of capturing a large winning trade. But this new relative strength sell signal tells me that the charts have changed. And when the charts change, I must change. Frankly, it's now time to evaluate precision cast parts closely to see if positions should be exited or hedged in some way. The answer to that question is, yes, they should. The trend chart of precision cast parts is trading in a negative trend, has plenty of overhead resistance, and it's dropped to number 43 out of 48 on our arrow relative strength matrix, suggesting that it has poor relative strength in comparison to its peers also. So with this new relative strength sell signal and all the other negativity, the weight of the evidence suggests that precision cast marks is one to sell or hedge if you own it. Let's take this one step further. Precision Cast Parts not only is the stock to weed out of your portfolio, but it's timely to do so here. The stock is in the red for the year. Any new owners from earlier this year may have a loss on their hands. Tax loss selling could be an option for you at this time. If you do own Precision Cast Parts and have it in your portfolio, please give me a call for any ideas or thoughts and we can go over it with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 440-934-3114. And remember, any of the securities do not represent a recommendation to buy or sell and also don't represent specific recommendations of Balls or Wealth Management. If you're relying on a video for investment advice, please don't do that. You're making a big mistake. Please consult with an investment advisor before you buy or sell or make any decisions. Once again, this is Roger Balzer, Balzer Wealth Management. Thanks for your time. I look forward to talking to you again next week.